Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is an episode of Be Real. I used to do Be Real about two years ago. People really loved it and it just kind of, I went through a phase where I, I just was doing something else. But it's something that people, when I say, what do you want to see, blah, 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 people ask about that. And I think- Okay, so I basically waffle here. But really what I wanted to say was that Be Real out. is a bit more raw, um, unfiltered opinion. Nice it could be anything from lipstick to mental health, um, what I've been eating, how my diet's really going, just, and I mean keeping it real. So I might be a bit sarcastic and a bit bitchy, but, share, but, but you know, like it's a bit of everything. And I hope that it's just a bit more informal and fun than my more topic focused videos. And it's all about keeping it real. You can just see it there, my rail. And I'll be like, oh, I've ordered that. When that comes in, I'll do a haul. And then there's always something else coming and it builds up for weeks and weeks and I don't make a video. Does that make sense? So this way, it will be like mini favourites, anything I've done that I've enjoyed, uh, any questions that people have left, maybe on a previous video, I can do a little bit of a mini Q&A at the end, what I'm using that week. And then you get over a period of weeks, you're going to get more of a sense of my real life a bit what I like consistently instead of me thinking what have been my favorites when I haven't made a video for like two months I get very anxious and overwhelmed if I make videos every week I'm just in the zone and I just do it like but um starting off this week I'm just going to show you a few bits that I got this week um again they wouldn't be enough for a haul on their own but I think it's worth sharing things I'm enjoying uh Hermes makeup for example I've got in this video do I think it's worth it any beauty products I've picked up, my, a new bag that I'm enjoying, uh, something I did with a cheese grater and a pair of jeans. Pause for reaction. And just little bits and bobs, so let's dive in. Okay, first stop, let's talk bags. First of all, this is just a cotton shopper that my lovely friend Sally picked up for me from Liberty London, but it is just so pretty. And there have been a couple of days where I have used a pouch to put my kind of essentials like phone keys card holder inside and then anything I've picked up on my shopping trip I've just put into the tote and I have really enjoyed using this and similarly if I'm taking a small crossbody bag or something and I don't really want to take a big tote but I know I'm going to maybe get a pint of milk on the way home or a magazine you know just a few bits like we do then it just folds up tiny and I've just really been enjoying it so that was a little gift and thank you very much Sally another bag this is a great bag i am i'm super excited about this bag so this is a longchamp le pliage neo so you have different versions there's the classic le pliage then there's le pliage club and then this is le pliage neo and then also there's le pliage cure which is all leather bags which i really have my eye on a mini one but for now so what sort of defines these is they have the top handles but a long strap which is perfect for me with the regular le pliage lines the bag that kind of looks i'll just hold it up similar to this shape say in the large or the medium and i have one of each of those either has a kind of a never full type shoulder strap which on me falls off my shoulders or just a grab handle like this and so this is perfect it's got one of those nice adjustable kind of seat belt straps um it's just nice why i bought this is because i wanted something that felt nice but wasn't expensive that i could throw around a bit if i'm not in the mood to use my big backpack and it has just been so handy like over the week i did just get my car valeted today so i had to empty the junk that was in the glove boxes and stuff so it is kind of full but you can pack this this is the small and um it just feels like a proper bag, but it's just a little bit elevated for me from the regular Le Pliage. The hardware, guys, is really thick and really expensive. And I think this bag was about £120. It's got leather handles, a leather detail here, um, leather tabs here where the strap connects. It connects to the corner tabs. On the all leather ones, they connect on little rings here. It's such a great size. They have a bigger size and then they have like a mini, which is really cute. Like the size, uh, maybe about the same size as a Speedy Nano. Um, and um, K-Love's CC bought the Navy and the mini. And I just thought I need something a bit bigger. So like when I go to a park with my daughter and I've got sandwiches wrapped in tin foil or maybe a drink it's this is nylon guys but it feels stylish it feels like a proper bag so i've just been using this all week 
it's called taupe on the longchamp site but to me it's leaning a little bit more khaki but like a soft mushroomy kind of khaki um i have a very similar bag which i'm going to show you in my next video from mulberry but that's a structured leather bag which i wouldn't want to put down on the ground when i'm having a picnic this is just like very much the size and capacity of probably like a speedy 30 or maybe a tiny bit smaller and it's just easy to see everything there's pockets in there i've just been really enjoying this and i highly highly recommend it okay what have we got new this week so before we get on to makeup i really like the brand oliver bonus and or bonus and i was looking on there for small little hoops and i have a really bad time with hoops and huggies you know sometimes you get these little huggies and they kind of clunk into place at the back and they should snap and then they might have a little star or whatever hanging down i've tried them from loads of brands and i feel like it's really hard to sometimes get them in your ear if they're really small to get the, because the little hook is quite hooky and to get it in an arc through your ear is really fiddly and you end up with it pulling on your ear or they don't actually click shut at the back the arm part that moves is really wobbly and they could just be a little bit annoying so i saw these and you're gonna think that i'm a bit extra a bit covid averse who's not covid averse but in the store i just felt like because they go through your body even though you can wipe them whatever there were people touching all the jewellery on display so i just took screenshots of the styles of earrings i liked and i came home and ordered them online and then i know that they're sealed and stuff i mean they've been handled by warehouse stuff i don't know i just felt weird about buying them in the store so oh they are all sealed up so i've got this pair they're like textured but they're just on a normal they're like a half hoop and then they're just on a post so they're going to be easy to put in and they're just like a woven sort of style and really small for every day i buy loads of jewelry i have loads of jewelry and you know what i end up wearing most days my wedding set and then my diamond three little diamonds are from oh my god what's that company called i love them I can't think right now the name of the company I'll, I'll list it down below they do this conscious diamonds and i haven't taken this out since i bought it it's three little stones together in my second piercing that's my version of an ear stack i'm quite minimal but i just thought these were cute little hoops and then i bought another pair these make nice gifts in these little packs these ones are green and i wanted them to be that vivid emerald green and they're not they're kind of uh, maybe a little bit darker than i thought but they're so cute so they're just little green agate beads um and they're kind of semi should have opened them before we started this really they're just like a little bit boho and cute and i just i, I love a bit of green got a few green bits of jewellery so that's those and they're very inexpensive i mean they're just plated and they're like uh these ones were 15 and the other ones were 16 pounds but they have a really nice selection of very especially for summer like slightly beady boho-y jewellery lots of turquoise they had a section in the store and i'm sure they have it on the website too where they had real silver and i bought my daughter a silver ring with some turquoise like slices like baguettes in it that was really nice anyway okay next one more little thing you remember from my jeans video if you watched my previous video the jeans that everybody agreed were the best were the um shaping super highway skinnies from h&m the plus size range but they do have the same jean in the regular size range so i have them in the dark blue which i only found when i went through and you saw maybe the mountain of jeans that i donated and then i bought the same as the black ones but in the light wash now they're not the same jeans they're similar but i've told you this before if some kind of well even actually with high end when i've bought like not your daughter's jeans and stuff before if they offer a jean in a solid black and then in a denim like a you can see that it's a denim material and it has a little bit of fade or a little bit of texture to the pattern and then if you have like a light blue or dark blue, they will all be slightly different feel of thickness and slightly different level of fit. So some of them, when where the denim has been more processed, they might be tighter. I always feel like the solid black is always thinner fabric on the whole and tends to be looser. And then they don't, and then these are thicker 
and more stretchy so they're kind of a bit tighter but i really like them i'm really over and everybody can do what they want but for me i'm really over ripped through knees and everything it's just it's not that i want to look boring in middle age but i'm just kind of over it and i think it it looks a bit daft on me so i'm just not into it but these have just got like distressing in minimal way like that kind of thing you know like they've kind of it's not just that it's a mid to light wash but it's got like slightly tumbled edges and stuff which i like but the bottom of the hems i didn't want to cut through and unpick all this you can get into a bit of a mare when you're unpicking all of this and stuff they I, they're the right length i don't want to cut anything off so what a friend of mine told me to do and it really works they're a bit fluffy now but that will change is just get them like that i just have this thing with blue jeans maybe not black with blue jeans i don't really like a neat i like a bit of distressing like this it's just my thing i think they look a bit serious and middle-aged otherwise so you just bunch it up like this and then i used a fine not grater you know the grater that you'd use for nutmeg where it looks like the end of a Phillips screwdriver they're like little holes and it's quite rough I just got a mini cheese grater like that and just rough them up and then the hem is softer and over time it will develop its own bit of fraying but this stitch line is intact and I'm not losing any length so there you are you're welcome I mean that's probably old news by now but I feel like I'm more excited to wear them they have nice high pockets they're stretchy this bit seems to do something and they kind of just make my hips suck in but they're not too tight and they've got a bit of stretch but not so that they want to wriggle down they're just really good h&m okay on to beauty products i've got one little haul from kiehl's i just went to replace my favorite nighttime cleanser which is the midnight recovery botanical cleansing oil it's a very runny oily cleanser smells like lavender I used to find it runny when I would put it in my hands, but now I use those reusable, like the face halo, except I don't actually like the branded one the best. I found some, I'll try and link them down below. I found some on Amazon where you get like six for £10. They're big, they're squishy. The edge is not hard, the binding around the edge, and they're just so good. So I tend to, I know that with these reusable face pads, you're supposed to just wet them and that gets your makeup off and i never feel like that really gets my makeup off so what i do is i run them under a hot tap and then i just get like a few little squirts of this oil and then the warm water and the oil is so soothing as well and so hydrating i just get everything off with that and then i might do like a second cleanse but i love it she was so kind the lady she gave me a travel size one when are we traveling she gave me three sachets of the classic body cream and i also bought the smaller size of the ultimate strength hand salve i do have my favorite clarins hand cream but it's a big like 100 to 120 mil and i wanted one that was small enough for my bag this is still kind of big it's is it 50 no 75 mils but a lot of people have told me this is good and you can't have too many hand cream. So I got that stuff from Kiehl's um, in John Lewis and I didn't go there for that reason. But the other day when I went, it was 20% off in the beauty hall. And I'm only used to them doing 10%. So that was really good. Okay. Right, on to the, the um, Hermes thing and whether I think it's worth it. So I just, they recently launched blushes and I was not going to, not going to, not going to. And I was just curious. So I decided to get one blush. And they also released these. What are you called? Lip enhancer. A rosy lip enhancer. And they're very different. So this is a shimmery, sheer, poppy lip shine. I don't have a full pigment lipstick from Hermes. Because I think at that price, that's really hard to choose online. Whereas these very sheer natural products you can't really go wrong so yeah i bought this one recently and i really like it i'm not going to put it on because i've got this one on but it's very sheer and it sits very light you don't get too much product where you're like Ugh. it's just a nice slightly orangey sparkle tastes nice hydrating lovely it's a treat it's expensive the component looks and feels expensive luxurious that's what you want when you're buying into a brand like Hermes you're only prepared to pay 60 odd quid for a balm or a blush because it's Hermes the packaging all the rest of it so I just wanted to show you the lip product comes in an outer carton that's white 
and then inside you get what looks like a Hermes box which all over social media people are like oh the packaging the packaging let me just say it's not a Hermes box like if you buy a Twilly it's a very thin bendy component but obviously we're suckers and we all go for it and I guess if you've never had a Hermes product you would be super excited and then the kind of Hermes dust bag material little thing for you to keep that in but like with Chanel and their velvet pouches I just never I don't see the point of these so whatever I'm not wowed by boxes and outer packaging I just like the components because I will just recycle all of that so this one it feels very different they're kind of like a matte waxy tint you don't feel much like it doesn't leave a thick layer of anything it's very traceless and invisible and looks quite matte there are three colors a pinky one an apricotty one and then this was like the rose tan more brawny one and i just from videos this actually leaves some pigment the other ones didn't seem to really show up and at this price i wanted it to show up it does just do a, your lips but better and i don't know if it's officially meant to but a lot of people are reporting like a slight color change ph reaction so they'll put the kind of peachy one on, but on their lips, it just makes their lips go a lot pinker, kind of like this. So I don't think you need more than one of these. I don't think they're going to have a significantly different look, whatever shade you get. But it's pleasant. I can't feel much. I can't report yet. I only got it yesterday. Like if it's going to be hydrating, it doesn't feel drying, but it's a nice little matte glow for a no makeup look like this. It feels weighty, expensive. The colour coded little pink end like that i mean both of these lovely a treat everybody loves a lippy for a little treat so then i thought i would get one of the blushes and lots of the videos it was in my mind you know subliminal messaging or whatever people were like the product's nice the color selection is nice the packaging feels light and cheap and i concur with basically all of that so again hermes box but inside there's no fabric sleeve i don't care but you might care so i'm just telling you but this is not a proper box i don't want anyone to be laboring under the oh my god they're so generous they gave us a really great outer box it's just a paper sleeve with a very thin box base i don't know about anyone else i'm not gonna be out here i'm not judging but i'm like a grown woman i don't need to display all my packaging this will be going in the recycling straight after this video i'm just saying guys um the product itself looks like this i have a problem with it that no one else is talking about this is just taken from it's almost like they couldn't be bothered to truly design an iconic component like they did with the lip products this is the same depressed little decal or coin or emblem here it looks smaller but it's not this has just got like a white surround it's the same thing and they've just stuck it on here now if it was a slide product you know when they're hinged and you put your finger in a depression and then you you open it this way it would make sense it's just a regular magnet thing you have a little plastic whoop, cover and then you have the product i chose the one rosy tan because it looked like the most unique the others are just various pinks and then there's one called rosy I don't know, that had a corally vibe. There's an apricot one, then there's a peachy corally one that did appeal. But when people were swatching it, I realized I had other blushes that looked like that. But I like these kind of, almost like, it's like halfway between a bronzer and a blush. So you can, I'm wearing it now just to show you, you can have one color and it just warms up the face and you're done. And I like that kind of terracotta tone. So I do, I will enjoy using these two products. They're both in the same shade, rosy tan, but they're very different. This is much more of a pink. This is much more of a terracotta-y, orangey, kind of bricky tone. Um, but they do coordinate nice together. I'm just surprised for the price. This feels really, really light and cheap. The back is attractive. It's brushed metal. And you can see a little pinhole there, which means you can... They are glued in, but they do sell refills for all their products. So... Like this poppy lip shine, if I if I run out of it, I can for about £20 less just get a refill and put it in this component. I do like that. But these blushes are silky and lovely and they have the fabric 
of their like twillies almost you can't see on my camera like there's a texture on the top of like a silk scarf it feels nice it was easy to blend it's nicely pigmented i do like how the um pan and the mirror are offset at funny angle oh, look at my finger marks but it just feels like this whole component was an afterthought i think they could have either made the whole of the packaging gold or had a different shape one of these maybe that was taking up the whole of the front made it just a bit more solid it's the most expensive blusher i've ever bought i once spent not much less than this on a by terry blusher that i loved and that was like a den denzelis denelis denzelis blush and it was in a very heavy small metal pebble that felt luxurious when it shut it had a snap and it really you knew it was shut the mirror everything was great for for 62 pounds i think this was even the actual pan the way that it's glued in and there's a bigger gap there than there is there i noticed these things i i'm i'm not normally obsessed with packaging but if you're mainly buying it because you're curious because it's such a luxury brand that you're buying it as a kind of a, oh i wonder if that's any good you know it's so expensive uh it should really wow you with the packaging and this packaging is crap i'm gonna go that far so I won't be buying any more. I'm happy I've got this one, but there's no way I'm buying any more. It does snap. It's got a magnet and it feels closed and it's light and small for carrying it around. There's always a flip side to most things. <coughs> it's not a massive heavy blush that you think, well, I'll just use that one at home. I wouldn't put it in my makeup bag. I would put this in a makeup bag. But to me, that is just not in proportion or like it's just stuck there. What is the point of it? It feels like an afterthought to me. Even if they'd done a band going across the middle, like a banner, like when you get the Hermes ribbon and they could have had that going across with Hermes Paris. It, you know, this is clearly designed for the end of this and is a really nice touch and everybody notes that. But floating around in the middle of this compact, I think it looks pretty crap. But more the fool me. I just wanted to say as well, I have found one thing that reminds me of this formula this kind of light tinted formula they are very similar to the generation g from glossier which is like a kind of a buildable waxy tint and i have this one that's a similar color leo a brown it's mangled because my six-year-old goes in my makeup and breaks it all but it's set similar in that you can draw it backwards and forwards several passes and you just get like a very solid crayony wash of colour. I think that that's probably slightly more pigmented, to be honest. This is pinker. But they feel very similar. These are, I think, 15. And there's about six colours. And these are £58. Just let that soak in. There's three colours. Hermes generation g from glossier so i think that's all i kind of really have to share in this video in the next video i'm going to be showing you my entire mulberry collection because it's something that i get loads of questions especially since i bought my <coughs> something's really irritating my throat um little alexa mini um people have been saying can you just talk more broadly about the brand and your thoughts i mean they're mothership factory in somerset is only like a half an hour drive from here as well so it's got like a bit of a local connection i hope you enjoyed this little be real um there were things i was going to talk about that i forgot about oh yeah so somebody very perceptive said have you had anything done <coughs> when i was talking on the stories or something the other day and i will just say that on four days ago i had botox here and here I'm not sure this time if I love it. Um, she went in the forehead and had kind of forgotten that I don't go in the forehead because I have quite a short forehead. And I feel like if we go in the forehead, I get a slight depression like that. Whereas what I actually want is the lift. I don't want to counteract it here. So we'll see, I might have to go back for a tweak. And the other thing that makes a big difference is I've had my lashes tinted. And that's because I have really blonde lashes. And if I work hard to get mascara right to the root, it goes everywhere and smudges. So I've had my lashes and my brows tinted, a little bit of Botox, that's it. 
and I did an at home quite strong peel the other day because my hyperpigmentation is I've kind of covered it with concealer it's kind of mad at the moment but there'll be loads more videos coming I'm just really enthusiastic at the moment and I have loads to say I hope it's not boring and you enjoy please leave comments down below of things you if there are any questions you've got that I could answer next Friday on be real or whole video that you want to request um just let me know and I'll do it for you and I'll see you in the next one take care